We have dry conditions right now, and in many cases, the clouds have broken up, but don't think that's a sign we're clearing out for your Thanksgiving. We have some rain on the way. Look at the left side of your screen. That is a line of showers, some of them heavy at times, that are going to move towards us in the next couple of hours. So it's stretched from Cleveland to Akron to Cambridge, and that's on its way towards western Pennsylvania. Right now, though, it's pretty quiet in Pittsburgh. We currently have those mostly clear skies reported, 48 degrees, 5 to 10 mile per hour winds out of the southeast. It's pretty nice. Our temperatures are actually going to go up a little bit tonight. You'll notice looking down towards Morgantown at 61. Back in Cambridge where that rain's starting to edge in, it's 57, 55, Akron, 54, Cleveland. So that warmer air is going to try to nudge in here. And once we get those clouds rolling back overhead, that's going to cause those temperatures to bounce up. So we're going to say the temps are going to hold pretty steady and we'll look for those to lift back into the low 50s later on tonight. So some breaks in the clouds right now, showers on the way, and the bigger view shows the system that's bringing it. The area low pressure is right up there in northwest Ohio. That's going to continue to build in for your Thanksgiving. 5 a.m., the front's going to be coming through, and you'll notice a few little just spotty showers left over into the afternoon. This is not going to be too widespread the way it's coming in, and it looks like anything that develops in the afternoon is going to be light. So we're looking for just isolated, meaning few and far between, light areas of sprinkles trying to develop. Otherwise, cloudy and breezy for the afternoon and evening. Now, there's another front coming through on Friday. That's coming in pretty dry, and that should just provide some cloud cover and temperatures to cool off a little bit into the start of the weekend. Closer view on Futurecast shows how this works out. 7 a.m., just those isolated little spotty showers around. That'll be the case into the afternoon as well. So most of the day is honestly going to be dry, aside from those little areas of drizzle. 46 degrees by the time we get to 7 o'clock Friday morning. The next front's coming through here. We'll get into the 50s for a bit, but Saturday it will be a little colder as uh, that front comes in and we clear those skies out. But we get a little bounce in temperatures for early next week before the bottom falls out. So here's how the forecast looks. 50 degrees tonight. Uh, again, our temperatures are going to come up a couple degrees, so we're going to call them steady temps, scattered rain, light breeze, and with it, some scattered showers, actually uh, consistent showers coming up in a few hours, and then they'll scatter out by morning. Mainly early showers, we'll see. However, during the afternoon, can't rule out just a little isolated one. 57 degrees for your Thanksgiving high temperature. You can see most of the forecast is coming in dry with mostly cloudy skies attached. So it's not going to be the bright, sunshiny day. But it shouldn't be too impactful with rain or anything else aside from the breezy conditions and an occasional wind gust up to 25. Friday, Saturday, both look pretty quiet. We'll clear those skies out into the weekend. Sunshine and 54 on Sunday. That's the best overall day of the forecast. Monday, rain returns and then our temperatures start to fall. Rain transitioning to snow on Tuesday and snow showers for Wednesday of next week. And that's a whole lot going on in that forecast, including a big holiday. And if you do want to do something outside tomorrow, get the KDK weather app. You can check the radar before you step out to see where that rain is. There's a little button on the radar that says past future. You hit that and you can see where the rain is going to go. It's one of the very cool free features on the app, available for free in the App Store and Google Play by searching CBS Pittsburgh.